Welcome to Pale Rider TV Trucking. Yeah, we got another article out of Celadon from the number one go-to trucking news source, Transportation Nation Network. It's a pretty good article, and it's pretty good news for employees of Celadon. Been a lot of speculation and all this ever since this story broke Saturday. That Celadon wasn't going to pay, wasn't going to, they were going to abandon the drivers and everything. Nope, they're making it good. Apparently all the employees, independent contractors will get paid. So let's go over the article. I'll read the, the best parts out of it. And uh, let's get started. Celadon Group has received authorization by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware to pay more than $5 million. The company says it owes to employees and independent contractors. On Tuesday afternoon, United States Bankruptcy Judge Karen B. Owens approved a motion filed by Celadon Group as part of its Chapter 11 bankruptcy, authorizing the company to pay $5,400,000 $43,000 in workforce obligations. A noted corporate bankruptcy attorney advising Transportation Nation Network on Celadon's case indicated the carrier is required by law to seek court approval to pay its workforce obligations. At the time, the mega carrier filed for bankruptcy, it reported $3,900,000 in unpaid compensation to employees, $528,000 to independent contractors, and $1,015,000 as part of its termination bonus program. I'm not sure what that means right there, but that was in the deal. Celadon Senior Vice President of Finance argued that employees and independent contractors would suffer personal hardship if the court did not authorize the carrier to provide the compensation it owes. She's right about that. Because the vast majority of employees rely in large part, if not exclusively, exclusively, I'll get it right in a minute, on their compensation and benefits to pay their daily living expenses and support their families, these employees and their families will be exposed to significant financial constraints if Celadon is not permitted to pay accrued and old pre-petition compensation, Wooders said. Further, Wooders argued that since Celadon drivers are critically important to effectuate what an orderly wind down of the business and to avoid strand, stranding the Celadon's assets and its customers' cargo throughout North America, it is critical they be compensated. Judge Owens agreed and entered an interim order allowing for the payments to be made. However, there's a however here. Judge Owens' order does not direct the carrier to make the payments. Hmm. The, the debtors are authorized but not directed to pay and or, and or honor in their sole discretion the pre-petition workforce obligations subject to an aggregate maximum during the interim period of $5,443,000, Judge Owen states. Sounds like it was some legal talk. I don't even know what all that meant. <laughs> uh, let me see. Try to get the main points this article. Okay, here's the... Uh, where does the money come from? This is where it's coming from. I'm going to tell you, right here. <laughs> Also, as part of Celadon's bankruptcy case, the carrier has reached 
up to nine million fifty thousand dollars financing agreement with Blue Torch Finance. Celadon filed a motion asking Judge Owens to approve the agreement, which includes a budgeted plan to pay the wages owed to terminated workers as well as those still employed by the company. In the motion, the judge argued post-petition financing is necessary to allow Celadon to wind down in an orderly fashion, fashion under Chapter 11, thereby preserving value and avoiding the irreparable harm that would result from a Chapter 7 liquidation process. Judge Owens once again agreed and approved the financing deal. Alright, let's see. Uh, Where's that? I missed a, I missed a very important part here. But uh, you will get paid. Uh, okay, here you go. Employees, including drivers, have been assured that so long as they comply with management's orders, which include making final customer deliveries and returning trucks to the appropriate terminals or leasing company, they will receive the compensation owed to them. So hopefully a lot of the Celadon drivers didn't listen to uh, so many other people telling them just to leave their trucks where they are and go home or take your truck home and worry about it, getting it back or whatever. So you will be compensated. And I think that as long as all that is done by Wednesday, which is today, you will get paid on this Friday. So Celadon is making everything good. They didn't leave drivers stranded out on the road like some other companies have done in the past. So that's a good thing. And if you want to read the full article, go check out Transportation Nation Network. I'll leave the link to the article either in the description or a pinned comment. Be sure to check it out. Read the full article yourself. And let me know down in the comment section. If uh, you heard anything or what you think about the situation. Or if you're a Southern driver, ex Celadon driver, leave a comment. And if you are a ex Celadon driver that's been through this, let me know. Let me know. Uh, email, my email is in the uh, description. Send me an email. I'd like to get in contact with you. Maybe do a little interview. You can re remain anonymous if you wish. So that's it. Thanks for uh, watching. If you like this video, check out all my other videos. Be sure to subscribe. And hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So everybody have a good day. Stay safe.